Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and this is my channel, Her Pacific Northwest Washington Life. And today we are kicking off the first vlog that will go up in 2020. Um, not entirely sure if I'm going to keep these as reading vlogs or just kind of life vlogs with reading involved. We'll kind of see how it goes um, and what I figure out. But today I am actually putting away Christmas decorations. I just did um, a clay face mask and wash my hair and then did a sheet mask to get the moisture back in. And I've got um, Christmas tree to put away as well as other decor and things that's just sitting around. So that's what I'm gonna get to right now. And um, We'll see what else the day holds. I do, uh, the chapter five for the winter magical readathon opens today or it already opened today. So I do need to, uh, go figure out what my reading prompts are for that. I haven't yet finished my two prompts for chapter four yet. So I'm a little behind, but there's no time limit on these. Actually, I'm going to grab a snack and then let's go do that right now. All right. So first question is, um, well, there haven't been any attacks for a week and mandrakes will be ready in a fortnight. So there's a little party going on in the dorm tonight as a long weekend approaches. Um, so question is, what do you do during the little party? You can either dance to weird sisters, play a game of gobstones or sneak in a butter beer. And I'll probably play some gobstones. Oh boy. Next thing is tender cast the castle, but there's some reading that I want to do. So, all right. So the next question wants to know in chapter four, which of the following happened to you? Um, you either followed the spiders, you met Fox or Dobby sent a bludger and Dobby sent a bludger after me. <laughs> there's an option to, um, once you're in the chamber and you've slid down, um, it forks off and you can either go left or go right. I'm just going to choose to go right. Okay. Uh, you turn right. It's so bloody dark. You raise your shining wand above your head to illuminate more of the past as you hear a high-pitched screech from above you. Your first thought that these are bats, but tiny angry blue pixies appear trying to tangle in your hair and pull your wand away from you, snatching at your robes and anything to poke you in the eyes. Actually, one of the things to learn. Okay. Immobilis. So, um, the basilisk is now coming into the chamber. Um, and the question is, who are you here with? Uh, Dobby, a rooster, or by myself? <sighs> These are hard to answer because I don't know. Like, I know that a rooster's call, um, is a deterrent or a, it's something with the basilisk. I can't remember exactly. Um, but technically, Harry's there by himself. But I'm going to say a rooster. Okay, my reading prompt. Read a book that starts with an R for rooster. Okay, I think I can find one. We'll see, though. So that is uh, the only reading prompt I have. So I still, like I said, I still have to finish my two reading prompts from chapter four, which I'm halfway through one of them and the other one, um, I'm already halfway through the book. I just have to finish it. So I think I'll probably wait to start this prompt until 2020. That way I'm not stressed out about having to finish three books in 29, 30, 31 in three days. <laughs> um, I'll just try and finish the two I already have. So I am really going to get a snack now because I never did when I said I was going to and I'm going to um, put away my Christmas decorations and stuff. So I'll check in in a little bit. I don't know if I'll probably listen to YouTube videos or music while I'm putting that away because I don't want to start an audiobook and not be able to finish it. Um, but we'll see. So I'll check in here with you in a little bit. I just finished my, um, five month TBR video and while my light is set up and my camera's here, I figured I would just do a quick check in. I started listening to the life we bury, 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 
I am struggling with that word, um, by Alan Eskins on Audible, uh, which was an eight and a half hour book about, and I have just under four hours left. Um, I have been listening to it while putting away Christmas decorations in the tree and things like that. And, um, I'm really liking the story so far. It's kind of reminding me a lot of, it's like a mix between, um, the goldfinch and, uh, uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. It's bringing up this old case that happened, uh, like 30 years ago or something like that. And you've got a young kid who is trying to discover, well, he's writing a, an essay book sort of thing for school and the prompt is to write a biography on somebody and he doesn't have a lot of family members that he could go to and write something about so he ends up going to an assisted living slash retirement home and uh, meets this guy named Carl who was convicted of raping and murdering a 15 year old girl back in the 80s and um, Carl is dying of pancreatic cancer, so he is finally deciding that he is going to tell the whole story from his perspective, um, and let everything out, uh, as his kind of dying soul cleaning, clearing thing. So he decides that he wants to, I'm totally blanking on the kid's name right now, um, talk to Joe. And through this, Joe is uncovering a lot more of a story than he was originally intending to uncover for his English paper. Um, so it's just very captivating, um, very interesting. It's the kind of mystery I like. Like, I don't like to be scared, but I like, um, like the girl with the dragon tattoo, just kind of uncovering an old mystery and finding out what really happened. And I don't like when it's like, to police Casey and things like that. Um, anyway, so that's going really well. But the books I wanna show you really quickly before my camera dies um, that I picked up, I got three on Amazon. They are All in the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. We have The Bear and the Nightingale, which is a reread for me. And then these two books, um, I never finished the series. So we've got The Girl in the, the Tower and The Winter of the Witch. So definitely plan to read those during the winter months of 2020. And then from my favorite used bookstore, I got uh, Sold on a Monday by Kristen McMorris, which, Christina McMorris, which is a book that I've almost bought a couple times. And since it was at my local used bookstore, I decided to pick it up. I also have The Light Over London by Julia Kelly, who I believe, isn't she the sister of Justine over at I Should Read That? I don't remember, but I think that's her name. Um, World War One, World War II historical fiction novel. I love historical fiction, um, especially when it takes place during World War II. So thought I would pick that up. And then the other book I have is The Orphan's Tale by Pam Genoff, um, which also takes place during World War II uh, about a woman who um, falls pregnant and ends up having to give her, or her child up um, and finds this train car full of Jewish children who are going to a concentration camp. She takes one and then ends up joining a German circus and meets this girl named Astrid and it's about their friendship and things like that. So I picked up some pretty good um, wintry reads that I'm planning to read here come 2020 during January and February. Uh, for right now I'm going to go edit my TBR and then probably, do you want to watch a movie now? <clears throat> Maybe watch a movie. Um, maybe just watch Gilmore Girls if Sky still wants to play video games. We'll see. But um, that's probably going to be it for me checking in today. So I will check in with you tomorrow when I've probably finished the life we bury. So see you then. It's been just a couple days since my last check-in. So I wanted to um, let you know that I finished the life we bury. 
and I gave it a four star rating. I thought it was really, really great. Um, a little predictable, but overall I just really enjoyed the characters and it was really an intriguing story to me. Like I just, I just wanted to finish it and know what happened. Um, and I cared about the characters and what happened with them and stuff. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I started The Hobbit today uh, on Audible. I have all of the Lord of the Rings books on Audible and I also own them physically. And so today I started uh, Buddy Read with my friend Rainy over at Rainy Day Reads. And as of right now, I think we're just Buddy Reading The Hobbit together. Um, but we're also both, I think she more closely and me a lot more loosely are participating in the uh, Lord of the Read Along that's hosted by uh, Books and Jams and Sarah's Nightstand. Um, I'm blanking on their names, but I can leave them down in the description box below. Um, I know The Hobbit is supposed to take January to read, and then the books and the actual trilogy, they want to take uh, two months apiece to read. So uh, Fellowship of the Ring will be February, March. Two Towers will be April, May. And then The Return of the King will be June, July. Um, just because they are, they're not big books, but they're pretty dense. And it is, I guess, kind of high fantasy in a way. Um, and then J.R.R. Tolkien is just so descriptive in his world building and his writing. Because he really wanted you to see, like, exactly what was in his mind and stuff. Um, I will probably just continue uh, on with the Fellowship of the Ring right after The Hobbit or depending on what other reads I've got coming up. So I'll probably plan to finish that trilogy or the, the whole Lord of the Rings series here in the first two months of the year and not go until July. But we'll see how that goes. Um, so right now I'm almost at the end of chapter two. Um, so Bilbo was somehow convinced to go on this journey with the dwarves uh, to reclaim the throne under the mountain and um, we're at the part with the trolls and things so uh, it's clipping along well enough I guess you could say. I'm just uploading my wrap up for December. Sorry, um, right now. So and then getting ready for bed. It's seven o'clock. Um, I have to work tomorrow on Friday and then we've got another two days off. And then it's back to normal life with no more days off again until when's the next holiday. Um, I don't know when the next holiday I have from work is. I think it might actually just be a personal holiday. So that is gonna do it for tonight. I'm gonna um, continue reading Out of Oz in bed. I have 208 pages left and uh, I'd really, really, really like to get that book finished this month. Sorry again. I'd really like, um, if I were being ambitious, I would say by the end of the week, but since I started this in October and I'm still reading it, um, don't know if that's going to happen, so we'll see how far along I get with this. But I will um, check in with you tomorrow if I have anything to say. Who knows? But yeah, check in with you then. I just wanted to film a really quick um, clip and update you on where I am reading wise. Um, Rainy and I had planned to read up to chapter 7 today, and I did that earlier. I forgot that the eagles come in um, so early in this book and I think it's the only time they come in in this book. I thought it was like the beginning and end but I think I'm thinking of Return of the King when they save, don't they save Frodo and Bilbo on the top of Mount Doom? I think so. Um, but yeah, they, we had the um, eagles come in and then uh, we also met Bjorn who is a character I really like. Um, I think a part of it is probably because he turns into a bear or he's like very associated with bears or they're not 100% sure what he is and my family nickname for me is bear so I don't know I just always feel connected to like bear-like characters 
but and they just got um to the oh my gosh the woods the start with a w what are they called not the winter woods the weir uh, i don't remember um mirkwood that's what it is so they just got to mirkwood um which i know means the big nasty spider is coming up and i'm not looking forward to that part but i'm really enjoying this reread so far i'm liking listening to it on audiobook because i've not listened to it on audiobook before so it's a fun new experience and it's just really nice to have um rainy to talk to throughout the reread um i told her today i was like you know how most people think that the hobbit is just nothing but a long walk it's like i really disagree especially upon reread because so much crap happens to them chapter after chapter and like yeah obviously they're going on a journey and obviously it's a high fantasy world so they don't have like automobiles and planes and things like that to make the walk shorter and if the misty mountain was closer or not the misty mountain isn't that where smog is if that was closer like obviously they would have gone and reclaimed their loot a heck of a long time ago so there has to be a big journey in this but also like they come across trolls they get taken by goblins bilbo runs into Gollum. They get run up trees by wargs and more goblins and taken away by eagles and now there's going to be a giant spider and like, I don't know. I will defend this tooth and nail till my dying day that it's not just a boring long walking book. Um, but anyway, that's where I'm at with The Hobbit. So I think um, I don't have my phone on me so I don't remember how many chapters I need to read tomorrow. I might fall a bit behind over the weekend just because it's a Maddie weekend or I might have to um, switch to reading this physically which wouldn't be so bad um, but I don't know when I'll get audiobook time in. And then I am making some serious progress like serious progress because of how long it's taken me to read this in out of Oz and I have a I have I'm on page 408 and there's 530 no there's more than that 563 pages okay I thought I had a lot less left um but I'm under 200 pages I'm under 150 pages so that's good so gonna try and get another good chunk of this read tonight i'm liking who we're following right now we're following rain as she's going back to kaimoko to try and find her parents um because word is that the munchkin landers uh found the grimoire or someone found the grimoire so she and her friend tip are heading to kaimoko to um be with her parents because uh it was rumored that shiz was going to be attacked instead of the emerald city so We'll see what happens. Um, right now they're still just walking. I think they might be, um, they're at the Great Hells, so they will start to probably summit up to Kaimoko here really soon. So it'll be interesting to see how this ends off. I'll keep you updated. I did get an order in from Creating and Co that I filmed earlier while I had my lights on and my, um, camera was pointed down so I'm gonna insert that now it's just some washi and bookmarks and post-it notes mostly um yeah and then the boys and I are Maddie said we're either gonna watch Lord of the Rings or Captain Marvel or maybe Despicable Me 3 tonight so we'll see what we end up watching and I'll inform you guys tomorrow while I have my camera and lights set up, I wanted to take advantage of sharing with you the haul I received today from Creating & Co. Um, she was having a big clearance blowout sale and I didn't need anything, but I bought stuff anyway. So, I don't know, we'll start with sticky notes. Um, I really like sticky notes. So I picked up these uh, like cozy autumn ones these kind of magical wintry ones and then I picked up because these are a lot uh, fewer stickers per post-it note pack um, these are ones with an artwork that I 
still think about um, like two days later. And honestly, this is the reason that I found Creating Co was because of a readathon and kit she used using this um, artwork. So I picked up three of those. I also got an enamel pin, which was from her uh, Christmas countdown calendar. And this one is just a um, carriage that I thought was really cute. I got a couple of bookmarks. Um, I really like this one that says, let's stay home and read. And it's just a nice soft background. And these two were also from the Christmas countdown calendar. Um, one is a reindeer with the carriage in a castle and one says once upon a time. And then on the back, uh, you've got stars and floating books. And then I got these journaling cards, which I think were supposed to be cut and I'm not sure why they're not. Um, but there's your carriage again, there's the castle and then a close up of the castle and a crown. So good thing I've got a paper cutter because I can just cut those myself, but I don't know. Also a little frustrating at the same time that they're not already ready. And then, um, I had spent over $60 during her spook sale, but some of my items were digital items. So I never received this, um, half kit. And since it was like under, it was under $3, I decided to pick it up, but you get four, um, boxes, you get your date covers, you get checklist flags, a little functional items, habit tracker, those sorts of things. Um, glitter headers, as well as some half boxes and quarter boxes, and just some like washi strips and deco. So even though I'm not planning with stickers this year, um, I don't know, I'll store it for next year maybe. And then um, I purchased two washies that are a repurchase for me. Um, the silver stars as well as the um, white and silver foiled floating book washi. And then I bought two sets of washi that were from the countdown calendar. So this one is blue and silver floating books. And then um, there's also this bookshelf washi with silver stars. And it's got that same um, wintry, fantastical artwork as the cards and things. And then she had this um, floating book washi that had a light blue foil on it that I thought was just really pretty and perfect for winter. So you've got the floating books as well and then floating books with stars and snowflakes. So that's it for my little bitty haul. I'm going to go ahead and close off the vlog here. Um, I've got 138 pages left in Out of Oz by Gregory Maguire, which is my goal to finish this week. I should be able to do it no problem, but <clears throat> um, Monday the 13th, I'm getting on a plane and going to Minnesota for a night. And I would like to have a new book um, on my Kindle to start for the plane ride. Um, and then I'm going from Minnesota to Austin. And then from Austin back home on Friday. So lots of playing time, lots of reading time. Um, I didn't get my section read in The Hobbit today, but Rainy did finish. And I think I should be able to finish tomorrow. That's how much I've got left. Um, or there. So not a whole lot left. Uh, so that is my plan for the start of next week, but I will definitely check in with you tomorrow and I'm gonna leave you all here tonight so that I can edit and get this video uploaded for Monday morning but I really hope you enjoyed watching and I would love to chat with you down in the comments until my next video bye